Hello, hello, and welcome to another day, another creation. Today we are looking at December 23rd, 2022. And honestly, I'm kind of peeled right now. All this TikTok stuff is going on, and on TikTok itself, I've been seeing, oh god, the hearing. And first off, listen, I love this country, I really do. I wouldn't be able to live the life I live without being in this country, and I'm very aware of that. But the people in power, do they know what they're doing and saying? They want to go support Marky Mark? TikTok is giving so much information, so much knowledge. It's sharing individualism. It's sharing culture. It's sharing tips and tricks. I have learned more on TikTok than A, than the school system itself, and B, than any other platform. And didn't Marky Mark get into trouble for selling data? This is all. This is just, this is BS. This is something that is giving the people access to A, express their voice voice and their freedom. The algorithm is magic. It gives you what you need to know, how you need to know it. It's sharing knowledge. It's sharing culture. It's uniting people. It's bringing oneness. There's just such a community on there that I've never experienced on any other platform. I mean, I don't watch the news in general because I think our country is being run by people who don't want the best interest for the actual people. They want best interest into themselves. Hey, how much money am I going to get? And it's all... Not all, mostly all old white men. They're trying to tell people what they can and cannot do with their bodies. Honey, I'd like to see you have a period. Let's put a simulation thing on you and just go through a period. Or like the pregnancy pains. Please, please. Birth control. Oh, how funny how birth control for males are coming up. And it's not as extreme as the side effects for women. It's just there's a lot of such shit going on. And that's not okay. It's uniting people people it's teaching people people are sharing knowledge gaining knowledge in every single way shape and form there's something for everybody on that app and it's not just restricting for selfish needs where's web3 we need some web3 social platforms right tiktok i really hope tiktok survives this i i am a big pro tiktok individual i've personally learned so much on that app and it's helped me in so many ways than any other resource ever could and it's free it's funny a lot of the comments were like scripted you know marky mark he started all this why why are you scared maybe if you put effort into improving your platform for the people and not just on profits and greed and just sus activity to be so tied into the government that's just really you know what are your intentions who are you creating for why did you start this and what has it turned into tiktok listen i hope you survive i hope i'm able to post these amazing creations on there and my voice on there because that is my ideal platform at this moment of time to be able to post on. If not, we'll make do with what is. I'm still not happy. It's just, I literally, I couldn't watch more than five minutes. I'm like, this poor guy is sitting there. And of course, I don't know the details. I don't really follow the news for these reasons. It just pisses me off and makes me cry. And just, I'm, it's so depressive. And even on TikTok, there are news outlets that share good news. There's so much positivity and love on that app. I haven't seen that anywhere else. Now that that's kind Kind of out of my system. <laughs> It's not really. It's just America needs a rebrand, okay? We really need a huge rebrand because there's so much potential. There's so much good. There's so much freedom. But people with closed minds, mindset, mentalities, they're really ruining the vibe. And they need to be stopped. People who want good for the people, people who want to help people, people who want to help the country, the planet, all of us as a whole need to be the ones stepping up into power. It, <sighs> It's just wrong. It's just wrong. The great escape. This one, you know, this is kind of fitting. The great escape. We need to escape from how it's always been. There's this Einstein quote that we love. Let's look it up. Problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them. Listen, don't get me wrong. Our elders who are kind of aligned with the right, if you will, you know, elders who are aligned with love, aligned with wanting the best for everyone, including themselves, but not being selfish about it you know and wanting the best for others as well there's so much we can learn from them they have so much life experience but these elders that are just so close-minded is a fear is a fear that's holding them back the is normal when things change you know but problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them the people who were okay with slaves okay with segregation okay with telling people what can and cannot do with their bodies people who are telling others who they can and cannot love 
of those people those mindsets need to go they need to go that's problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them those people who created all those rules and regulations are the ones still in power therefore those things are still surfacing up in today's reality which it shouldn't even be an issue anybody should be able to love and marry whoever the f they want anybody should be able to do whatever they want with their bodies because it is nobody's business how dare how dare somebody think they have control over that especially this country this country that has so much potential that has so much freedom that has freedom of speech anybody can turn their life around here for the better and it's just it's so sad we need a rebrand call me but i can't be working with dumbass politics or politicians and people in power who just who don't who don't it's wrong it's wrong we are in 2023 this is the most advanced we've been that we know of and we're acting this way race shouldn't be an issue at all at all but it is and black lives matter and it's just this is very overwhelming human rights matter personal freedom matters how dare somebody even have the entitlement to think they have the right to tell others how to live it's just it's not okay but getting back to this beautiful creation which i don't want to take away from it because this is a great one and it's a great escape we need to escape this past outdated societal ways we need to escape the old mindset where these rules exist today were created it's not working and we need to take a hard look into reality even people who try to come up and want to make change for the best are kind of run out because politics is a thing right it's like dirty it's slimy you gotta play all these games that's bull that's some bull let's surrender to the unknown the unknown of the good the unknown of the what could be and how we could be living because we can create that all these people in power are creating our reality right now and that's not okay okay again i love this country i call this country home and the thing is we can't blame all these the current individuals in power it's also giving the people that follow them the people that over them right they're the ones that are blindly following following and it's so deep these there's so many connections set into it into the everyday life i do believe religion is tied into it and used against people in the name of shame guilt to be able to control and to be able to dim people so they have more control it is easier to control vulnerable individuals than people in their power and i think that is a big part of it and these are all my thoughts and opinions so let's bloom let's change we're at such a pivotal point to where where now is the time to do so. <laughs> Like this little ooh, ah point ooh ah it is it's such a beautiful time it's the golden age the age of renaissance not just in creation not in just in creativity but for the world to unite as one and that includes small steps web three diversity and people who think different who've lived different lives stepping into power into our government and giving that different perspective small businesses should get a good break because i believe the future is small businesses small businesses always made this country and will continue to so more and more as these bigger structures don't cut it anymore because their biggest thing is people having more babies so they can keep selling thing is they want everybody to have babies but they're not willing to protect our babies in school school oh my god i saw the saddest video it was like a shelter for shootings in schools and kids are having to go through those drills and there's like this kind of room where that can only open from the inside really really we're willing to spend all this money on that and training instead of just doing something about gun control are you are you serious right are you serious <laughs> it's not a laughing matter it's just so absurd to me and it doesn't make any sense in my mind how 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 nothing <laughs> is making sense and it's that time right it's that time where things like this are going to be coming to light and being shed upon and the thing is these people back in the day there were things i didn't know better about because i was un unaware but i took the opportunity to learn to become more aware and realize that these conditionings and programmings that i was living by were wrong and i chose to do differently so all these people in power or they can take a step back, reevaluate, be like, hey, is this right? Is this wrong? Is this actually for the people's good? Like, why did I get into politics? Ask yourself these questions because if you don't agree or align with how things are, what steps can you take to make a difference for the good, to make a difference for the people, to protect the people, to protect our children? Children are our future. Children 
are the ones that are going to be carrying on the generations just to see the drive and the determination from the younger generations gives me like i'm like yeah they're so right like i get on board right because you know my generation is a lot, a lot of suppressed but again we can make a choice to see that and choose to do differently and thank you for the younger generation for empowering us to do so you know to realign what's important and what's not this one's all over the place i'm just i've just been feeling all over the place as of really it's just i've been more irritated and angry so you know it's all coming in right now mm. we need to illuminate and l put light into how things could be light the path because it's there it's it's there it's just not observed or not as observed right i think that goes into the quantum world why don't we have quantum computers i'm just like you know that's a whole different it's just okay <laughs> all over the place and this will be going for a while at the end of the day we are at this beautiful ooh and i and pivotal point that we haven't seen in a really long time we have a way to do something about it we have technology technology connects us all right and i mean i'm doing what i know in to play my part and maybe in the future i'll be able to play a bigger part and help in a whole different way but we all have a voice and for many of us it has been suppressed for a really really long time but we have the ability to speak up we have the ability to voice our opinions of what we think is wrong and right small changes are taking place this is gonna sound so little in comparison to the bigger things at hand but commercials tv shows so on and so forth are more diverse i look back at some movies and shows i used to like watching and i'm just like wow i just can't watch this anymore because it's just so white i mean <laughs> so small changes are happening and i feel like changes like that always happen in the creative fields first because people are a little more up in mind no more well, you know just more open-minded and are willing to and it, but even that that was such a fight and such a struggle right something so small just to have diversity in shows and be given equal opportunities in these fields equal pay is another why isn't equal pay a thing gender shouldn't even play a part it shouldn't even be on the table because it doesn't matter it's a person bringing in a skill set to provide work services how does that differ the denseness and the heaviness of the wrong in our world today is overwhelming but i truly from the bottom of my heart believe it can be so much better and there's potential for a brighter future and it's happening you know it's it's the golden age it's our renaissance it is our time to shine it's our time for the great escape escaping and letting go of the old and going into the new we can do this <laughs> the ooh ah point ooh ah yes it can be done yes it's 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 exciting yes it's worth ooing and awing about we need to embrace it it's scary it's uncomfortable and it's just all sorts of freaking weird and it needs to be taken day by day but we need to feel those feelings to be able to release them to embody our best versions of self to be able to get to that point it all starts within it all starts within the external will be a byproduct Oof. okay that was a heated one <laughs> Good. I do feel a little more combat stuff. You know, it's just here's to today. Here's to tomorrow. Here's to our tomorrow together, which is going to be bright, beautiful, unified, filled with peace and love because that's who we are by nature. Newborns. It's what they embody because that's our blank canvas. So let's get rid of the BS and start building our new. Okay. Until we meet again. Bye.